Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time, Gray's wife was not a giant a-hole after all. And Gray just mumbled for like an like a like a straight up hour. That was kind of weird. <laughs> But on a more serious note, we discovered that, yeah, there's so much infighting in the city, and it's really frustrating. It's like, bro, we're working on the cure for the Mobius Plague. Cut us a break. And to power up, because good God, that giant effing robot nearly ruptured my anus. That, that is disgusting. Surprise, surprise, Alexandra gives us the Incursor class, which lets us, at least now, currently do the most damage. So prioritizing her, duh, it makes sense. But we got a bit of a problem. Uh, I can't find how to do hers. Which means either A, we can't do it right now, or B, I don't have the proper setup. Hey girl, it's been a minute, even though you're like, freaking, like, what the dunk? <laughs> I can't look at this character the same way anymore now that I know she's like younger than us. Much as I hate to admit it, it appears that Mobius have an information network that spans the length and breadth of Ionios. The fighting is getting ever fiercer. Proceed with caution. Why does she talk like that? Like, Oh, oh, I just saw it. I just saw it. Okay, hold up. We're going to eat because I just realized we never actually ordered food here. And then we're going to get the other half. Enemy gold boost. What the? Does gold even do anything in this game? No, I should have got it anyways. Okay, hopefully they're still there. Are they still there? Yes. Yes. Battle supply of having a towel. <laughs> they can wait. Seriously, don't talk with your mouthful. That's disgusting. Our next delivery is going to Colony Four. What? That's got. That's got to be it. Colony Four is, you know, that's Agnes. Yes, we. Okay. I, for some reason, I just couldn't find those people. But before that, we picked up some info about the Collectopedia cards, and I'm an effing nerd, so I want to know more. So Alexandria came up with the Collectopedia cards, right? She said she got it implemented by a console. I don't know what implement means. Uh, I'm a bit surprised she managed to get approval on something like that. I suppose there are all sorts, even amongst the consoles. There are some like Kay at Colony 4 who treat the soldiers like tools, and others like Colony Iota who allow the commanders to exercise their judgment. Yeah, not all Mobius think the same way. Still, bottom line is, there would be no Collectopedia cards without Alexandria. I just have to wonder how she managed to persuade the console to sign off on it. That's Alexandria's gift. It makes me scared to think what depths lie behind that smile. <laughs> what the t <laughs> Huh? Uh, okay. That was a little brief, but uh, hey, now that we're done, done talking crap about you, Alexandria. Wanna hang out? <laughs> it's literally it's kind of rude. We're even doing this at our own colony. So there's something about Colony 4's resource problem, and I've been thinking about it. Alexandra, why did you help a- That's a bit of a rude question. Colony 4 is an ally. They've been released from the Flame Clock. I don't need an excuse to help an ally. Do I? Uh, well, <laughs> wow, she grasped that quickly. Yeah, I can understand you sharing resources with them, but what I'm trying to say is, how does an Agnian colony know so much about the resource shortages of a Kavesi one? Are you still spying on them? That's, I mean, that, that's what we're trying to say. That's what I was wondering, too. <laughs> There's no putting anything past you lot. Information's easy to come by if you know how. And I always stay up to date. You always own that god dang phone is what you mean. You always own that phone. You always know what's going on. You're not saying you have an inside man? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> I wouldn't take that much of a risk. I'm just doing the same as you. Here. This is how. Did you, you just forcibly upload information to our brains? What? Oh, it's a Collectopedia card. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I came up with them. It's my only character trait. Did you think I could only see my own army's information? Come on. Wait, but wait, we haven't interacted with that mechanic the whole game. What? You're saying you leaked secret Agnes tech to Kevis to use it as well? At the time, I just thought we got really lucky. What? When all along it was a ploy to dig up any intel? I had no idea. Although I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I'm somewhat impressed. The important part comes after that. While analyzing the flow of resources, I realized that this war is almost perfectly balanced. 
Almost like it doesn't want to end. Oh my god. That would like probably creep you out, right? Like, you know, as far as you've been alive. Yeah, either side, you know, it's just a stalemate. Then again, the French had a hundred year war that also did not want to end. Maybe that's a possible inspiration. Anyway, I'll bring it. I'll, <laughs> I could go into tangents about the hundred year war and how effing zany it is. I know it sounds effed up because it really happened, but like, what the? It's crazy. Anyway, um, <clears throat> as I was saying, which is to say, there's someone orchestrating the war from behind the scene. Yeah, we met them. We we literally saw them. It's a dude in a movie theater. I don't I don't know what he. Do you know what a movie is? Uh, when you think about rules, you have to realize that. They are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. Your words, Alexandra. I know it was many moons ago, but actually multiple months ago you said that, but this is what you're talking about, right? You worked out that much? Didn't exactly try and blow the whistle, did ya? I mean, who could she tell? What else could I do? What could anybody have done, even had they known? The Norboros appeared. The world's enemy. And the enemy of one's enemy is our friend, right? I am glad you understand. Hope you're friendly with your actions as well as your words. Cold as ever. Ouch. Okay, how about this? I'll show you the storehouse, the heart of Colony Iota. Take whatever supplies you need and use the. Hey, you got no pawn coins? We need them, suckers. Fair? I mean, that's a generous offer. You're saying we have final say over resource distribution. <laughs> Just like that. Well, you'll have to discuss the particulars in storehouse management with Shell, but yeah. I appreciate the sentiment, but we wouldn't feel right. <laughs> Speak for yourself, me. I'm going. <laughs> Whoops, already pinged her. Already? Oh, God. Now we owe her. Oh. She doesn't have much spare time, so you better get hustling. The storehouse is a bit hard to get directions to. So, first just head up to Taurus Hollow. I don't know where that is. Just talk to Riza at the entrance. She'll let you in. Alright, so we got another standard quest, enemies and allies. I'm down with, hey, I'm down with help, I pressed, I pressed the wrong F button, god dang. It's been a minute since we've been to Colony 4, and if it means seeing Valdi again, I'm down. I'm really down, and oh boy, I don't think we've ever been here before. I'm sure it would've been Omega intimidating if we arrived when we were on level, but yeah, we kind of blitzed past all this. I'll say this much though, I recently figured out the uh, class point formula, and I got a effing vent! This is so stupid! Just thinking about this gets me extremely heated, okay? So if you fight something that is a higher level than you, how many class points, just a percentage, do you think you'll get from that? 120%, 150% class points. You get 100% regardless of how overleveled the enemy is. And I don't think that's right. Like, I just, I don't know, man. I feel like that's kind of backwards. Also, this song is lovely. It doesn't really, it doesn't really even fit my attitude. It's actually calming me down surprisingly well. But I don't know, man. I think, hey, the old game, Xenoblade Chronicles. I don't remember all the, like honestly, everything about two at the moment. I'm gonna, it's, it was five years ago. What do you want from me? Whoa, this looks really pretty right now. Oh my god. But maybe this is cherry picking. Maybe this is just like I don't know, remembering incorrectly. But Xena 1 was kind of sick, because yeah, if you did take down these really tough opponents, you got rewarded by like a good chunk of EXP, ability points, etc. But if like, and keep in mind, I haven't like actually tested this, I'm just reading an article on the internet, but like, I, I don't think they'd steer me wrong. And whoa, these Ignas are writing these, that's awesome. It's just a whole nother zone, you know what, man, the hero quests aren't all that bad. If I never, I probably would never come over this way, if I, you know didn't have our breadcrumb leading me here. But I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Apparently there are some accessories and stuff that boost your class, like, point generation, but I, I don't find them suckers, so. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? He looks angry. Is, is he angry? He's just not very expressive is all. Still cute, though. Just like an Arden. Uh, I guess we did not kill this guy during those, uh, assassination runs of <laughs> Alexandria's unit. Your letter is a ghost. Ooh. Is he mad at us? I guess I did clobber him with a giant hammer. And then, like, you know, spit on him when we knocked him down. Ryza, let's chat. You're scaring Senna. Sorry, not a talker. Oh, I see. 
Beware the monsters. Monsters? Uh, hate to break it to you, buddy. They're literally everywhere. Like, we swam through a horde of monsters just to get here. The storehouse is a little way out from here, so it's a little infestation is to be expected. It's hard to find, and the monsters save our guard duties. You could say they're the perfect anti-theft device. Risky business. Right. We'll be careful. Ask Shell. And Dame Alex. Yes. Be nice. What? Uh... I am nice. You don't have to tell me. Don't bother yourself with me. <laughs> He's just joking. I'm not a sadist. Anyway, come on, let's get going. Okay. I see our target. That's the storehouse. I see. It's well protected all the way down here. No kidding. Oh, wow. What kind of place is this? Uh, uh, my mouth's like watering. What do we got here? Hey, got, got, got some new accessories? I might be needing them. This game getting kind of hard all of a sudden. Although I will say this in the last episode, man, I was watching my gameplay. Dude, I can switch to the character. Like, I know he had a, like, the robot had a gun fan attack. Bro, what if I just switched to the tank and faced him away from the party? Like, I can get better. Hard mode's exciting. That's all I got to say. Anyway, this is the storehouse. Wow! Queen's flapping beautiful wings. I love her so. I mean, she's evil. Ah! All this stuff is yours. Yep. And we're not at full capacity. Whoa. Hey, there's a ghost behind you, Alex. That sucker died. Let me introduce you. This is Shell, our storehouse manager extraordinaire. So, everything should be as previously discussed. As of now, our friends are on resource distribution. Fine with me. It needs to be done. And the more surveillance, the better. Uh, who's surveilling who? I, uh... All of you are surveilling me, of course. What? When you're living under the flame clock, your allies and enemies are clear. Whoever you can get from the fire is your enemy. Simple as that. But we can't live by those rules anymore. Enemies and allies, they change depending on yourself. That's the difficulty, isn't it? Force and conflict is just one of the effects of the flame clock. Couldn't we also say that the flame clocks controlled our behavior? I mean, I guess. The time's right for traitors to emerge, so it's dangerous for any one person to hold too much power. Including Colony Iota. All right, I'll buy it. Do you doubt your own comrades that much? Really? Of course I don't doubt them. I know they can get whatever job done. We're all pretty brilliant here. Jeez. <laughs> you say so. so the only thing that counts in your eye is ability. Really? Let me ask you then, would you trust some researcher sat at their desk all day with some manual labor? Would you put a, mo a soldier who couldn't pilot a bathtub in a cockpit of eleveness? Bathtub? What does she mean? <laughs> Personal skill is what counts in tactics. As long as you believe in that, that's enough. Does anyone disagree? I mean, that's a really narrow viewpoint on life, but, uh, Alexandria, you... She's a right pain, isn't she? <laughs> Give it a rest, Shell. I'm waxing philosophically. I don't think it's a wise assessment. No one knows how things are going to change. Keep an eye on me or not. I'm with Dame Alex. That's all. Sure, whatever. Can we have, like, the treasure and stuff? Uh, you really you really care about Alex? I do. A lot. But I'm 10th term. Not much time left. And Dame Alex needs allies more than anything. Please be good to her. Dang. It's crazy to think this lady's older than Alex. <laughs> you shouldn't talk like that. About what? About how much time you have left? You're going to break my heart. Suppose you're right. Oh, well, I'm walking over here now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hi. Sorry we beat you up earlier. Didn't mean to talk for so long. Anyway, about Colony 4's resources. First, just got to do this. Uh, okay. Guess we got access. What now? You got access right to the goods. You could think of it as unlocking a new function of the Collectopedia. Uh, what? You really packed it with features, didn't you? Oh, wait till you see the next patch. Ooh! It's nice to see you surprised. This isn't surprise, it's it's shock. I feel violated. <laughs> it's pretty user-friendly. Just name the commander of the colony you want to send to. 
Then just pick up your supplies and done. What? Is this actually like a new gameplay mechanic? A colony Force Commander? Uh... It's Voldy, right? No! Voldy was 44! Done! It's all been arranged with Boliaris, the acting commander. You can use his name in this instance. It's easier to pick it up by doing... Or by doing on it. Give it a go. Yeah. All right. This is the old, old, nasty, dirty Connie we beat like a billion episodes ago. Man, I don't remember their goddamn number. Johnny can't count. Johnny can't. Yeah, I know. I know. Whatever. Yeah. Dang, that gives us 200 affinity. Shoot, that's like almost a hero's quest world. Dang, dang. Okay. I get it. No way it's like we can just... That's like power leveling all of the reputation. No effing way. Everything went through, no problem. You got authority about half of the resources in this room. How about you give it up ab absolutely up to you? You're trusting distribution, common good. Comma what now? To each colony according to its needs, In it, We scratch their back, they'll scratch ours. This is probably the fastest way to literally make world peace. Oh my god. Not the most, like, bombastic quest, but that's a new feature of the game. I'm gonna pog. Oh my god! Oh no, we don't have enough for everybody. Dump! Fifi's colony ate up all the supply. Okay. Well, there's gotta be there's gotta be a way to get more of these, right? If so, that's amazing. And if we could repeat that, that'd be sick. Because I'm still lacking a lot of these uh, affinity level rewards. God, that's a mouthful. Now I'd like to get those up. How are we going through resources so quickly? Oh no. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. You gotta yell. Need to hurry up with resupply or allied troops are in a tough spot. Oh no! Did I give out too much? Oh! Oh, dump! This is my fault! We're at 20% remaining stock. I think I'm literally going to starve. <laughs> Holy dirt! <laughs> Dame Alex, you told me to give it away, didn't you? Uh I guess this begs the question, yeah. You can hand out free stuff all day and try and make friends, but if they don't, you know, they don't return the favor. It's gonna start looking like Colony 9 around here. Y'all, can we grow potatoes into desert? Right, Doubt it. Let's uh let's get talking, shall we? Dame Alex. Let's lay out the facts. Is this is this like the follow-up? Colony Iota's storehouse is gonna be in trouble pretty soon. Indeed. More people rely on the resources than ever, and we're burning through them rapidly. Do you think we've given out too many? I think that even without that, they need to start considering what they'll do next. Time must resupply doesn't arrive. You don't have to worry about it. I'm the one who has to do this, and it's not the first time we've had a short on supplies. You can't afford to be so glib. Really. If it's causing a strain on the colony, you should re-examine your procedures. We can help out with some short-term resupply. It's the least we can do after all taking uh, taken we've done been do- I don't know what, I don't know what that was, but- uh, In that case, I'll take you up on your offer. As you know, the storehouse is Shell's domain. Let's talk to her first. She's probably already got some ideas. And if you work together, you can be more efficient. Yeah, okay, I'm on it. So we run back down to the secret stash and speak with Shell, who's already on top of things. In fact, they've mobilized units to start the gathering. Unfortunately, you can't gather anything if you're dead. And there's two squads out in the wilderness who've not come back yet. So we don't have to gather anything. Instead, we just have to go save them. On the way to one of the gathering units, though. Oh, no way. Dude, it's you. How you been? It's been like, it's been like two months, bro. Did you fight last year? Now, what was it we needed? Uh, yeah, I, I got some. Check it out. I got you. Dang. I was so close to finishing this, and then just gave up. Uh, I, hey, can we, like, hustle us up, though? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Pain, pain, eternally grateful. Friends are good friends. Oh yeah, bro. I, I do I do anything for you. You're my number one. Don't mention it. I'm just glad you're okay. But what actually happened? Why are you passed out in the middle of the desert? Uh each story of great length. So pain pain choose not to tell it. Oh, thank God. Fair enough, that's fine by us. Anyways, we gotta go. It all start with pain pain on way to Ferranus. Oh my god, shut up. Shut up. Shut up, pain pain! I don't give a freak! So you're gonna tell us after all! Mate! She'll she'll apprentice of Pain Pain. Must be so looking forward to meeting. Thanks to friends, Pain Pain is saved. Well, rest teensy bit of more and then go see Apprentice. Just don't overdo it, Gramps. No worry for Pain Pain. 
Legs of Pain Pain are very fast for running away. That won't do you much good if you're horizontal. Anyway, Pain Pain's safe now. Goodbye forever. We will never talk again. Aw, oh, thank God, bro. Oh, no! Get away from them! They just won't quit. Ah! We could use the supplies as a distraction. No can do. That's our absolute last resort. Give me three minutes. Then... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what, what's up? Don't worry. This is a Xenoblade random battle. Three minutes! We'll give you 30! Should we buy some time? Oh, yeah. Go for it. This is... I feel like I feel like we've done this before, fighting three 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 like animals in, in unison. Like it's kind of it's kind of weird. The second unit that needs our help can't actually fly their vehicle anymore. So we head over to the old Kana battlefield, gather some supplies, and set them on their way. Yeah, we're epic. We helped them in record time. Hi all. Everyone made it back safe. Yeah, thanks for that. Dame Alex, there you are. I, I had no idea what... Okay, uh, uh, voice does not work, but it's canon, so I gotta stick with it. Do you have a minute? I just wanted to chat about expanding the research labs, so I ran all the way down here to the sacred refuge. <laughs> Always in a hurry, aren't you, you old coot? <laughs> Being old isn't a thing for us. Sorry, just gotta step out for a bit. Thanks for today, though. Everything was restocked even quicker than I planned, which is a very nice change from the usual. I'm just happy we we're able to help. Well, toodaloo. Until you talk to me three minutes from now and do the next hero quest. Okay, bye. Nice to see you back. I heard all about your exploits from the returning units. It was just like you said, Shell. Everyone was thinking about how to live up to their responsibilities. It was almost kind of eerie. That's all everyone was focused on. Not even, like, they weren't even afraid to die out there. They're just, I gotta do my part for the team. Like, it was kind of like brainwashing, but, you know, I, I, not not in a bad way, but I, I think I understand why Colony Iota is such a major player now. You finally appreciate how great Dame Alex is, huh? Just one thing. What exactly is Alexandria hoping to accomplish? Securing all allies through the resource sharing and simultaneously training the newer soldiers? They are closely linked goals, no? Dame Alex doesn't like to repeat bad experiences. When Colony Iota was hoarding its resources, we had a big problem with eternal conflicts. The rich only wanted to get richer. There was no mutual aid, no cooperation, just bad faith and selfishness. Dang, so overabundance can lead to greed? I mean, yeah, that, that is true, in a way. Dame Alex knew that wealth and resource doesn't necessarily translate to quality of life. Kinda spin, I actually agree, for once, but is that the only reason? I'm a pretty skeptical person myself, but Alexandria is strangely cold at times. Has she always been like that? Hmm. Dame Alex still doesn't believe in herself. She can't bring herself to. We've only been able to watch over her, but you... But, but, but what? Dame Alex has to change. That's all I can say for now. Please just keep watch over her. Since you can't. Got it. Uh, yes, we will. Man, there's something sadder behind the scenes going on. What is going on? Uh, sorry. <laughs> that was a bit of a tangent. Hey, it's cool. I do those too. We managed to get to 70% capacity just as planned. So you can get back to work as before. Can't thank you enough. All right. God dang. So Al there's still like something deep down that's bothering Alex. Good to add more names. Crazy. Oh, snap, we got more resources. Hey, hey, let's go. Maybe this quest is designed in a way where, yeah, you just get to give just a boost to like every colony. Because, yeah, we, we can't like, for example, I don't think we can give to like Triton and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get the dump out of here and wrap this sucker up. Didn't honestly realize this was a three-parter, but here we go. Someone's talking to Chickadee? Who could it be? Just ask yourself, can we really afford not to do it? Please convey this to Dame Alex. <laughs> you know, my, my accent wasn't that far off. Like, he can't, you know. Look, I'm telling you, there's no way she'd agree. You seem to be having fun. Mind if I join in on the present? <laughs> I can grab my bed. <laughs> oh, God, look at her power walk. Oh. Dame Alex. <laughs> Surprised to see me? I heard you were talking crap, and here I am. Um, we can explain everything. 
Don't trouble yourself, Chickadee. I'll hear it from him directly. Oh, what the heck? I want to hold a tech summit with Colony 30. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? What is she doing? She's summoning... Oh, yeah. Continue. <laughs> well, I saw my Rubik's Cube in real time. I know you're reluctant, but now that we've been released from the flame clock and the wall between Kevis and Agnes has crumbled, now's the perfect time to institute a tech exchange. If it's successful, it could even lead to stronger, more lasting peace. You had problems with Colony 30 in the past? We fought against them before, just once. But they absolutely wiped the floor with us. What? You? Never before or since has Dame Alex misread an enemy to that degree. So that's what messed her up before. The bitter aftertaste from that event has lingered for years, giving us all headaches. Dumb. Who's bitter at whom now? <laughs> how are you to tell who are you to tell people how I feel? I mean, obviously I'm bitter and upset, but like, you know. I get it. Well, I It no doesn't sound half bad. Let's have a technology summit. Really? Just like really? that? Dame Alex? You sure? Like, I don't know these 30s. Like, I... Kevis's Colony 30 stands at the forefront of technology. This is not a problem in the slightest. Hey, but have you seen Faldi's robot? That was, that was kind of cool before it got up and destroyed. But... Truly, not even a speck of one. Now we've done it. Done what? Is she... Chickadee, contact Colony 30. Tell them I'm coming. Yes, understood. I don't like this. What's going on? Um, Gambert, we will rendezvous there. I'll bring results home. You'll see. Worst case scenario, though, we get to liberate another colony, right? Of course, Mom. I'll depart on the double. Unless they're not already liberated. I don't know. They've definitely got skills there, but this is Valdi we're talking oh, okay. about. Okay. I don't think you need to get so worked up. <laughs> You mean the demigod of unkillable might, Valdi? Oh God, I was about to say. Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah, Valdi's thirty. They're chill over there. We promise. I don't know. Suppose I told you that Colony Thirty was currently struggling with an urgent water shortage. What would you imagine? Don't they live under an effing like lake? What the dump? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Burst water mains or something. <laughs> yeah, that'll fix you up. Now you got all the water you want. Oh, it's running out. Uh, or their spring dried up? Incorrect. The right answer was big cleaning project at the colony. Uh, oh, you have got to be joking. We're going to pick up mops. Regrettably, I am not. It really happened. That does kind of sound like Valdi, though, huh? I guess he's like a mad scientist. His room's always a mess. There are also many Nopon living there. They tend to follow their own unique rules. Precisely. They are unique and therefore worth studying in greater depth. Knowing your opponent and preparing accordingly, that is the foundation of any battle. Do you still consider Colony 30 your enemy then, Alexandria? This isn't about enemies or allies. All I'm saying is that the side that gets careless loses. So your strategy is outright distrust then? What are you trying to say? Hurt others first to avoid being hurt yourself. Do you think that's logical? Hey, hold up, wait. What? We're, we're, we're the good guys, right? Like, we're not gonna hold, hurt Valdi. He's helped us countless times. No. It's a matter of opinion. What? And you're entitled to that. Say what you will, but they've got a good colony over there. Yeah, what are you talking about? I know he's an unkillable demigod, but seriously, Alex, like he, he chilled out. Uh, right. If you don't mind, could we attend this technology summit of yours? Yeah, I gotta make sure nothing happens to, you know, our ace in the hole. We could help introduce you and Valdi, too. Yes. I dare say with you by my side, <laughs> they may be less guarded than otherwise. <laughs> what was it? Yes. Yes, Noah. Attend the summit so you will distract Valdi and I'll stab him in the back. I suppose I may require your assistance. Okay. This is kind of weird. This one's taking an odd turn. Some... <sighs> Lady, get over it. He got that V factor, you know what I'm saying? He's like, he's the GOAT. If he, if she hurts him, I swear to God. You better not. Like, I know she gives us the best class, like, hands down, but brother. Vol Voldy, hide! She's here! I'm sorry, she forced me! Whoa. 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 That's actually not that impressive. Yeah, two woes was enough. 
this... this is all just... so over the top! Yes, though mainly your reaction. Ah! My man. I cannot... Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I've been waiting. He was. I, I like him for artificial reasons because he's so good in game. He's just a guy. Like he's just. He's just. I don't know. Hey, pal. I love him. How you doing? It's been a minute. Not too shabby, I suppose. Riku, chief. Manana. Friend Baldi. Manana missed friend. Keeping hands clean of blood, are we? <laughs> yeah. No need to be shy, Chief. You didn't answer my question. That's concerning. I envy you your energy levels, bud. It has been a while. I'm glad to see you in high spirits. Extends hand creepily. Hello there, Baldi. It's, it's been, been a long, long time. <laughs> have have we met before? Like... Thank you. <laughs> and yes, I'm pretty good. Um. Who's this? <laughs> wow! She, got, she actually got snubbed! She's the commander from Colony Iota. You got the message, right? Didn't you fight her? Did you forget? Was it that forgettable of a battle? Oh! Right, you were the one we destroyed with all those sentry guns. I remember. I, I, sorry about all that. You're anti Xandria. <laughs> Thanks for reaching out. <laughs> It's Alexandria, actually. It would honor me greatly if you'd remember. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna... <laughs> Alexandria. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the commander of Colony 30, Valdi. We've actually met before. We have? Oh, wow. So, sorry. This will be my first technology summit. I'm really excited about this. I, myself, not so much. Hey, now. Dude, she's mad beefing with a little kid. She's also basically a little kid. You brat, shut the dump up when you're in the presence of Aldi. Really? You don't like Levinus's? I don't. Especially yours. What? Well, I am actually going to slap you, silly. Lady! I've been bending over backwards for your behind! And you're betraying me?! I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. She's being such a B-word. Then I hope that by the end of the day, you'll have learned to love them just as much as I do. Remember Robo Friend? <laughs> Alex, you're coming into his house to talk a smack. You're, you're a bully. credit to your colony, Commander. But don't you think you should be on your guard, even a little? What the dog? She's actually, like... This is Asher all over again. <laughs> Valdi, shouldn't you be on guard letting an enemy into your quarters? Why would I? We have no reason to fight. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> Obviously not. If I was, the others wouldn't have brought you. Dang, checkmate. You just got on. You trust them, don't you? Just as you do. Right, Alexandria? Man. You got hand of all. He's, he's got these mind games. They just don't even work on him, bro. He just refuses to play the game. He won't even sit down at the table. Yes, of course. Hmm. Tie on. <laughs> What's right going on? Then. Let um, me show you around. There's lots of stuff on the ground, so you'll have to watch your step. I have nothing to hide from friends, but feel free to look around. Could have fooled me, bro. This place is clean as a whistle. Hello? Thanks, Switch, for your limited draw distance. <laughs> okay. Valdi seems happy, doesn't he? I bet he doesn't get to show off like this very often. I know, he has a friend over. You remember being a little kid and someone came over to your house? Look at my toys! I love you it. have this one? Oh my God. Everywhere I turn, there's hardworking knock on. It's bloody brilliant, mate. I love them little freaks of nature. <laughs> They're not working. They're just doing their own thing. They snooze when they're sleepy and meet when they're hungry. Sometimes they just wander off. Sounds like heaven. They're not on the nine to five clock. Oh my God. Still, they look quite busy. What might they be making? So just listen to this. I've been thinking about it a while. We're looking into constructing a smaller, stronger levels, focusing on three pillars. Durability, serviceability, and ease of use. Actually, the whole premise of our work, like fixing things, might need rethinking. If you put too many features on one level, it's... Yeah, I feel that. Dude, there's this ancient Xbox game called Chrome Hounds. You could put like 59 guns on the robot, and that sucker would just fall down if it didn't have the right amount of weight. 
So I'm, I'm with you, Valdi. We think the same way, bro. Less can be more. Then you need more time and parts, and it ends up costly and hard. Not to mention the handling. So to get out of the cycle. All right, calm down now. <laughs> huh? Oh. But I was calm. I was just going down my thought process. I, th I thought you'd like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy already. I know. He's great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's super cool and totally stealing my spotlight in my episode. I'm going to kill him. <clears throat> this new model's design is really very interesting. Thank you. I'm happy you think so. Oh, hey, do you want to work with us? We've just been looking for team members for Project Bingo. Bingo? It's what I'm calling this new model. I was thinking about it, and when I figured it out, it was like Bingo. So we named it that. And that was his name of Baldi, you are such a gem. Sounds great. I <laughs> I spend lots of time thinking about stuff too. So I'd love some hands-on experience to really improve and Gumbert. I don't want to be here all day. Can we step on it? Like Alexandra's like his mom, bro. Have Gambert, we have to get home to the superior colony. But mom, I want to talk to Baldi and see his robot collection. By which of course I mean. Do you have any units in a state closer to completion? I'm sure I do. I just made friends with one such unit recently, in fact. What do you mean, friends? I'll introduce you. She's in the hangar over there. I know it sounds silly, but I'm a little uneasy. Like, obviously, Alexandra's gonna come back with ah, us. There she is. They're not just gonna lock us out of a hero. Oh my god, no, they did that with Ethel. <sighs> okay, but like, legit. She, she's not gonna, you know. Oh, dang. What the? Oh, dang! You reverse engineered a. Agni and Robot? Wait, wait, wait. Robo Buddy is a friendly. Robo <laughs> Buddy got a new what Robo the? Buddy. Mate, Bingo was a cute name, but uh, this one not. Uh. <laughs> it's this little one's name. Where'd you pick it up? Oh, she was strolling about outside. What? So you just picked it up like a lost kitten? It must have been on patrol, dude. Did you have <laughs> to go and drag it in? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't treat Kevesi as hostiles. Does it not even distinguish between Kevis and Agnes? But why would that be? Some error in the control circuits? There's no errors here, and she's not broken. You're conversant with Agnian technology? No way. Well, I guess I dabble, but there's tons of stuff I don't understand there. That's why I started tinkering with those that I do. So, wow. Valdi already beat her to the punch. He's hanging out with Agnians too. First, the question of how Agnian autolevs operate autonomously. I think it's mostly to do with ether signaling, but I figured if we could break it down, we might be able to transmit stuff back to them from our side as well. Anyway, I spent ages racking my brain about it, but if you look at stuff like friend or foe identification, it gets mixed up. Wait, wait, back up. Are you saying you can control it? Well, it's not that precise, really. But at least we're friends now. <laughs> Homie does not understand how his own code works. <laughs> yeah, I don't really get it, but, eh, you know, whatever. Right? What the? Oh, oh God, I thought I was going to start Is firing. This for real? <laughs> if they actually succeeded implementing this at scale. Yeah. It would turn the rules of engagement right on their sparking head. And we could take all those at... Oh my god, we could sit Finally, if we combine the city's robots, the Agnian robots, and the Kevis robot, we'd actually stand a chance against Mobius. Outside of just the six Ouroboros. Holy dump. Valdi, it's, it's, what are you uh, having Robo Buddy do? It's all coming together. Just moving and disposing of materials. It's still in the test phase, so we're keeping things simple. And which section is in charge? That would be the bingo guys. Why? Why don't I ask you straight? Are you planning to use it as a weapon? Oh my god, Alexandria, why? No flipping way. Ugh. I would never. I mean, she doesn't know him like I do. It's Valdi, bro. He, he literally... He, he can only heal in reverse. Wait, no, that's... Um. She's not for fighting. I made friends with her to stay friends with her. Well, if that's the case, then it would seem you've missed your mark. Wait, what? Your friend seems to have other plans. What's going on? Hello? No! We were too over idealistic. Robo buddy, why? What's happening? Cut it out. Bad. No use debating it. Ready oh. arms. Hey, did she ha hold up. 
Hold up. No, no. This is scut. This is sus. What did she do? Oh, freak. This thing is hard. Um, She had her iris out. What was up with that? Is she hacky? No, come on. I know I'm biased, but she wouldn't do that, right? You want to do something so vile, Alex? Oh, my God. Man, it's kind of funny. We fought giant robots back to back, like, <laughs> this episode, last episode. This one a lot more manageable, I'll say that much. Huh. Robo buddy. We, 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 we talked about this. I thought you were housebroken, but you... You just took a whiz on the carpet. Why? Well, that makes things clear. Somebody within Colony 30 has been secretly misappropriating materials. So it, it wasn't Alex? What? Misappropriating? What are you talking about? Wait, so there's a mole? Look at the Collectopedia card. You said the three pillars for your new Levness were durability, serviceability, and ease of use. However, you'll notice that the materials RoboBuddy was collecting were waning lapis and vanolium. A brittle rock and a highly scarce metal. What ought we to think about that? Oh, you're right. This isn't what I asked for. Someone reprogrammed it behind his back? But, uh, hang on, Alexandria. How did you know to check our Collectopedia cards? Hey, he got her name right. <laughs> I asked her to. I figured it might help, but it looks like I was right. Do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Not at all. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. Mmm, Valdi, I wish that was true. <sighs> He's so young, he doesn't want to doubt his own team. No, RoboBuddy clearly turned hostile and attacked us. Which is to say, it must have been under the control of someone other than Valdi. But what were they after? Might it have been to make a poison? Poison? Yes. Both of those materials contained certain toxic compounds. Of particular note is the lack of identifiable scent or flavor. When mixed in with food, they're nearly unnoticeable. No. But things were getting so good, why? Well, someone's well read. What the? Oh. Our console had some shady hobbies, and he liked to talk. So, what would happen if you swallowed it? Depending on the concentration, dizziness, numbness, diarrhea, emesis, and in more severe cases. Ugh. Enough, enough. Oh, fantastic. I managed to retrieve the logs. If we analyze them, we should be able to figure out where it came from. Is that okay? Hey, okay by me. We gotta stop the baddies. <laughs> the baddies. All right then. <laughs> Sorry to use your friend like this, but you know, it's what he would have wanted. Uh... Looks like the friendship part might have all been in my head. But thanks for thinking of it that way, anyway. Honestly, such carelessness. I know it's too good to be true. Dang it, man. Alexandria, you've been looking sad all this time. Hmm. Something the matter? Anything we could help with? I'm... I'm used to all this, and I hate it. Alex? Did you hear me? I... I kind of get what's going on. It's a repeat of what happened to her colony. 30's got it so good because of the supply... Oh my god... It's nothing. You don't have to worry. Alright. Analysis is complete. You can unpack the data whenever. Good job, Gambert. Why don't you wait here? Commander? I trust I can leave my man with you? Huh? I thought I'd be going with you. But there may be other machines like RoboBuddy. You're the only one who can tell them apart. Let's tackle both threads simultaneously. Yeah, okay. I'll stay in the colony this time then. Give RoboBuddy's boss my regards. You got it, boss. I will not let you down, my Dark Lord. <sighs> Alright, let's get down to business. Where is he? Where is he? This is where the logs run out. Let's search the surroundings. No, hold on. Past there is... What? Oh no. More? What the dog? Who? What, what is... Ugh, dead <gasps> end. It was actually a bait? No way. What the dog? This ain't funny, bro. Oh, we should have brought Valdi. Why did we separate? God dang it. <laughs> huh? 
I didn't for a minute dream you'd pull the oldest trick in the book. It's blockhead. Dear Ouroboros, how do we ever fear you? Uh, uh. I know that screech. It's the console from Valdez. Oh, yeah. So he's alive? Wait, how? How? What? If I died so easily, I'd be a human. But as fortune has it, I... <laughs> Finally, someone attacks hey, mid-cutscene. I'm still talking here. You can't break the rules. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less. Damn! How primitive can you get? Kill him! You didn't really think you'd fooled me. What? Oh. No. Is he a hologram? Is that what's going on? <gasps> no, she's met before. Oh, no. Huh. Homie, she is dead. She's an incursor. They have two defense. How the... I knew you for a craven, Alex. You were plainly going to secure the retreat. Oh, so you do have two brain cells. Everything's going numb. <laughs> a very special litmus that was. Oh, it isn't fast acting, so relax. I formulated it for the water supply, you see. You're after Colony 30. It doesn't matter so much where. The important thing is the water. It will soon become the object of the most vicious raids! You worm! However, seeing as you're here, I might arrange a whole different playtime. <gasps> we can create a tableau of your little act of betrayal and see how you like it when you're the one being poisoned! Act of betrayal? <laughs> Oh my god, no, this sucks. <laughs> Alex, don't die! What the dumb? Mother, stop spewing your idiot lies! Oh dear, you haven't told your friends then. Well then. I guess they're no friends of yours. <laughs> Dang. Uh, oh my god. Master Eden did a full lowdown already. This little mix. Passive the ambition, drilled by the killer old commander. Whoa. She brewed up a poison to make him weak, then staged it like he died in battle. What? Even better. She made her accomplices, team leaders to shut them up. You're lying. And they're still chumming it up today. Uh, Alex. Oh, oh my god. He's telling the truth. I regret nothing. Holy crud! He wasted men and resources to outdated tactics. If his tyranny continued, they all would have died. Iota would surely have collapsed. Holy dump, Alex. Actually oh, goaded. How ghastly. Never knowing when one might die in one sleep. I'm able to trust your friend. I... <laughs> <laughs> I go so far as to say they lost their trust in me. Also, I do not condone pois That's poisoning, right. but... And so... This story is crazy. I'm not asking you to trust me. That's why she can't trust Valdi, bro. Because she betrayed somebody. Oh my god, it's so rich. This story, bro. This is a side story. This is. Oh! It, 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 oh! It's all coming together. Really? Also, Moby is E. Oh my god, his design rules. You wrote this in cheap paper. That's all I do. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I was say, wait, no, we only have one tank. Oh, wait, no, they're, they're, they're all chipping in. Jeez. Tyler. Everyone's got some husks in their closet. And as for me, I'm choosing to trust you. Oh, that cut me right to the quick. In this game, to the cruel go the spoils. All three of them? I don't know, bro. Oh, crap. Let me demonstrate in quick order. Okay, bring it on. 59? Oh, heck no. This is hell. We don't stand a chance. Um, how anticlimactic. Okay. This is, oh my God. Cause you know, I know it's been a very long time, but I've always been thinking like, hey, what, you know, what, what's really up with her? Does that mean Chickadee was also... She knew about the port? Nah, probably not. I don't... Anyway, I gotta lower the difficulty. These, these guys hurt uh, really bad. 
pollution cannon. Oh god, they poison. That's awesome. And pretty okay, not not awesome because you know we're taking damage, but like the fact they thought about that. Like yeah, we're gonna make this like a really po like a memorable fight. Also, can I just say like Q having a tail? I don't know. It, it's a really tiny thing. Obviously, it's the same like so Mobius model as like almost all the others, but it's a nice little detail. And yeah, on a uh, normal mode, I can actually hit these guys. So uh, that's that's cool. Oh, you got you got a little tail. You got some Frieza action, huh? Look at that thing. You think I give it to? I got the ponytail, a thousand times stronger. Yes, sir. And I spin. And I, I love this animation. It's just so good. Like I don't know. It's goofy, but in a good way, bro. That's what I like. Also, oh my god, I forgot I had unlimited sword. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We are going to attempt to use unlimited sword. New uh new video challenge. Can you beat Xenoblade Chronicles 3 without using l l Lucky 7? Like, I mean, I, you really want to. It's hard to resist. Also, I realize outside of Alexandria, who just died, Noah is our only attacker. And I keep dying. So, yeah, um, we did not use Lucky 7 at all in this fight because the poison. I mean, it's my fault. I never stand in the goddamn circle, so I can't, I can't be upset. But if we can get, like, one more break... We should be able to end this, which that's usually Santa's thing, but she's also a tank right now. I'm trying to get that last, like, uh, smash heart on her as well. Because in chain attacks, bro, I, I, I feel like that'll be pretty strong. Despite that, though, you know how I am. I do the bare minimum, and I do it wrong, and I still win. Dang, he's, like, groveling, bro. Get wrecked. <laughs> Wins in the cutscene. No, come on. Oh, what? Oh, thank God. Dude, I thought she was gone. If that Valdi would come in and rescue her, but I mean, he's kind of far away. Jesus. I see a blind spot. Do, a what? I see your bum out. Ooh, I must make You have to, or you'll. Alex, you said it yourself. You were counting on us. Oh jeez, I would crap my pants. Oh my god, he's so giant and this silly. Is my friend. <laughs> so back off. Oh my god, he, did, he only hit he one bullet. <laughs> that one really hurt. Oh, don't make don't make us fight again. Oh god. Whoa! What is this? One hit. Eh? The cutscene, Lucky Seven. Oh my god. That was too close for comfort. You can say that again. Oi! What the spark were you playing at? Come to save Alexandra. She's our best friend ever. Come on, no. I seriously thought you'd snuff it. Hey, I trust you. I knew you'd make it in time. Uh -huh. Probably. <laughs> Putting a lot of pressure on him. What? What if I did it? You saw how inaccurate the turret was. Come on. On what basis? Well, I didn't exactly have time to ponder it. You smug little clod. <laughs> Please don't frighten me like that. No, we're all very upset. We love you so dearly. Don't die, especially for Alexandria. Like, come on. I'm oh, sorry. I just thought but I'd do the right why? thing. why? How can you do those things? You could have died. Yes, but that's just Noah's way. How have you survived this long if you're always so careless? Blind luck? I'm telling you, we count on one another. Oh yeah, that's how we've learned to do it. Teamwork, interlink, you know, smash combos, you get it? Perhaps I'm not explaining it right. But in any case, I think there's something rather elegant at the heart of it. So that's what you call strategy? <laughs> Blind faith? In that your teammates will pick up the slack? <laughs> I swear, you Ouroboros must be the most peculiar people I've met. Too peculiar to trust? If you were, I'd have been long gone. Thank you for trusting me. Hey, ain't no thing. You're a little weird. We all are. By the end of the day, she ain't a bad girl. But uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not eating the restaurant anymore. Sorry. Uh, right back at you. Let's get back to Valdi. He's probably getting worried. Hey, welcome back, you guys. That was shocking news you sent. Didn't think I'd hear about Q again. I 
didn't either, honestly. I guess that was our fight, our first fight against a real Mobius, so. I'm sorry about putting you through that. Don't worry about it. We've gotten a lot out of the bargain as well, I assure you. And I'm sure Gambert has been absorbing it all like a sponge. <laughs> Dame Alex, about that. Respectfully, there's something I'd like to discuss, if you please. Oh, you want to have a sleepover? I get it. You can stay. Just make sure to brush your teeth, darling. You want to stay here, don't you? <laughs> How did you know? The Nuphon are staring. Oh, what the day is? Well then, Valdi. What would you say if I propose a temporary staff exchange? Gamber, for one of your mechanics? Hey, Alex. Really? Oh, he sounds so happy. Oh, my God. I think it would be intellectually stimulating for both our sides. Yeah. Isn't that what we wanted at the end of the day? All right. Sounds cool. Let me quickly talk to my buds. Does anyone want to go with the pretty lady? Yeah, I do. I hey, do. Alex. Please. Me, me, me. What's, uh, what's brought this on? Pardon? Brought what on? Ah, ah, never mind. We got the okay. They say they'll move ASAP. Very good. This should help foster better relations between our colonies. What do you mean better? We're already fast friends. <laughs> oh my god, Baldi. You're right. <laughs> I misspoke. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're good buddies and I totally uh, trusted you right from the get-go. Yeah, come on. Gotta introduce you to everyone. Huh? What? Now? Hey, hang on! This is... it's amazing! Well, that's one thing taken care of. Oh my god. Right. About that. We won't tell anyone about what Q said. I mean, it's not like you could get court martialed for it at this point. Right. I mean, who, who, they have nobody to report to. For the record, though, I can't say I approve of your methodology. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. It is the most effective way to get rid of, you know, sta stabbing Caesar. It's pretty quick and I guess almost harmless, but not to him. But there had to be a better way to go about that. She doesn't get a free pass just because she's the Pelk girl. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. If you try something like that again, well, we'll just have to stop you. And then we'll put our heads together to come up with a less bloody way. So no more agonizing alone. Got it? That's reassuring. If that's how you really feel, then let us help you. That is, since we're friends now and all. I... Hmm? Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, so you got a dry throat? We were fighting out there for an hour. Right? Sure. And thank you, too. Wow. That was for saving me earlier? I hadn't had a chance to say it sooner. You really didn't have to. Really, we, just, we love beating a Mobius. It's, 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 it is really fun and challenging. It would have eaten at me if I didn't. I, I get you. I have to say, I thought you were more chill than that, Alexandria. <laughs> Aww. She's actually kind of a sweetheart, ain't she? Yeah, when she's not. You know. What? Are, are you making fun of me? Also, I realized I, I made the fan cannon idea that she... She makes weird beverages, and she poisoned her previous commander with a beverage. That's kind of fun. That. It's just a bit of friendly banter. You'll get used to it in no time. So she's learned how to open up a little. Good for her. That was actually... That was 10 out of 10. I'm so, Not just because it has, you know, uh, Valdi's involved. I mean, no, that's good, too. But, dog, that's one of the better ones. I hope everyone's getting along. It fleshed out... Her character so well, and the colony as a whole. You gotta, you gotta see those people you fought, like you know, before you even like invaded the colony, and then you get lore. Not just, not just on Colony Thirty, but like what happened that Moby. That is, I know they can't all be like that, but God, all right, tier, tier list. Yeah, Alexandra's S as far as the quests go. I am, ooh, ooh, I, I got a lot to say on that. I, I, God, we've been fighting for so long. <laughs> Would you believe I've cleaned myself three times this episode? It's true. It is 100% true. This has been an amazing session to record. I am just so thrilled that, I don't know, Xenoblade is the type of game that can, like, tell these stories. She's definitely a morally gray character, but God dang it. You still want to root for her, that she can defeat, you know. She betrayed somebody in the past. In her head, she thought it was for the greater good. And, you know, in fairness, things are working out probably a lot better. But now, because of that, she's plagued by the just... I don't know, she can't trust other people as easily. But simultaneously, she's trying to create this world 
of Unity. It's... Ooh, I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. But, that being said, we've been doing Hero Quest too effing long. So, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We're about to do some main story, baby. What What is the main story again? Something about Cloud Keep looking for Nia. I don't ever remember. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Thanks a bunch, guys. And see you then. Bye.